Hey everybody. So this time of year, late summer, we people see a lot of yellow jacket wasps around. I did a video last week about yellow jackets uh, and the difference between yellow jackets and ground nesting bees. There are other yellow jacket wasps though that don't nest in the ground. They actually build these paper nests. So my neighbor a couple weeks ago was gonna call an exterminator to come get rid of this nest that was in their front yard. So I snuck into their yard at night, I got their permission, snuck into their yard at night so the wasps were all inside the nest nesting. I covered it with a plastic bag, uh, hurried and cut the branch off, tied it up and euthanized them. I use, this is a little cyanide kill jar. This is what I use for my bee research because it kills the insects quickly and doesn't get them all, all wet like some of the other methods do. So anyway, I euthanized the yellow jackets and now they've been sitting in my garage for a while. Today, I want to dissect this nest so we can see what's on the inside. I also want to count how many yellow jackets were in there. So here we go. So I'm not sure exactly how to dissect this. It's made of paper. So yellow jacket wasps and other paper wasps, they actually chew up pieces of wood and then mix it with their saliva to make kind of like a paper mache. So I have a couple of razor knives uh, that maybe I can use to cut through it. And then I also have this, this is my garden knife. It's actually a bread knife, but I use it for the garden. So I figure if I cut, cut this right in half, we'll be able to see what's inside there. And then I wanna gather up all of the dead workers and count them and see how many there are. So maybe I'll start with the garden knife. Ooh. Look at that. So you can see, let me take that down. We have multiple layers of nest cells that were attached up here like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, it really stinks. I think that's the queen. Maybe that's that the queen down one. there. Oops. So why do you think it stinks? Because they're dead. So all of these nest cells were full of larvae and now they are probably rotting larvae. Pretty gross. They need to dry out some more. So I'm gonna to try to get all these little workers out of the nest nest cell area so we can count them. There was a lot in here. That one's a big one, maybe that one's the queen. But, so to, to be honest, I did get stung once when I was extracting this nest. It, some I was wearing shorts and one flew out of the bag and came and stung me on the leg, but wasn't too bad, I guess. Not my favorite thing. So these were some of the nest cells. These are all pupa just getting ready to emerge. These might be next year's queens that were gonna come out. It's pretty cool. Ooh. You can see they're still capped, most of them. And then in these ones, they're still larvae. So the capped ones are the ones that are pupating. Um, the uncapped ones are larvae that they're still feeding. Oh, there's some in there too. Yeah. Okay, you want to come help me count them? So we found 152. It's a lot. So we found 152 workers. Well, there was workers and queens mixed in there. So let's just talk briefly about the life cycle of these yellow jackets. So this is an annual colony. The queen overwinters, hibernates over the winters. In the spring, she comes and starts building a nest. Uh, her first batch of offspring are the workers. Those workers then build the nest up and help feed the offspring and the queen throughout the summer. In the late summer, they produce a bunch of new queens that will then fly out in the fall um, and hibernate, find a place to, to find a place to hibernate. So this is kind of when the when the hive is at its biggest. Lots of workers, lots of new queens. There was you know, five or six big wasps in here, probably next year's queens, and then there was lots of workers. So, pretty interesting.